Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Innal hamdalillah nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh wa na'udzu billahi min shururi anfusina wa sayyiati a'malina may yahdihillahu fala mudilla wa may yudlilhu fala hadiyalah Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu Dear brother and sister Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today insyaallah we like to share with you a very important hadith from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam talking about the basic rights between Muslims There's one popular hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam from Abi Hurairah radhiyallahu anhu Iza mata Bahu. When a person passes away, at least you may pray for them or follow them until the graveyard. Show some last respect to them. And this is very important. Yeah, there are a lot of people have underestimated the, the, the duty of a fellow Muslim to another Muslim. And sometimes you know that the Prophet had even give us some glad tidings by saying, if a person participate in a funeral prayer, he got one qirat, the reward. Of one kirat, the Mount of Uhud in Medina is a great reward, mashallah. And if he can send the deceased to the graveyard, he got two kirat of reward. That means two Mount of Uhud. Can you imagine, brother and sister? It's not easy to get this kind of reward, mashallah. The reward of the Mount of Uhud in Medina, Allahu Akbar. But we overlook all these things. We don't put the important. Of getting all this blessing that Allah have offered us, so it's time for us to do something about it. When a person die, you should follow them at least. Yeah, participate in the prayer, not just attend the funeral, but without participating in the funeral prayer. If you miss that opportunity, the Prophet Muhammad still give us an opportunity to perform the funeral prayer even in the graveyard. That is the only prayer that the Prophet performed, not the one with the ruku and sujud, because funeral prayer is without ruku and sujud. It's a stand. Yeah, if it's a male, uh, the, uh, the deceased is a male, then you stand somewhere around the head yeah, area. But if a female deceased, then you stand in the middle, and then you face the qibla, then you make your takbir. And now by performing four takbir, salat al jannah is very simple. Yeah, but a lot of people are not exposed to it, especially people who go to Mecca for Umrah or Hajj. Each time after the Salat al Jumma in these two sacred mosques, the holy city for the Muslim Mecca and Medina, you can see that there will be announcement, and every announcement after the Salat Fard congregational prayer is for the funeral prayer. But sometimes people still don't participate. Some people are ignorant, maybe, or they are just selfish. They don't care about that. They think that performing sunnah prayer after the fardu prayer have more reward than performing the salatu janazah, the funeral prayer. They are very wrong. Yeah? Performing the funeral is more, they are more significant, more reward than just performing the sunnah prayer after the fardu. So, it's very simple, brother and sister. To Salatul Janazah, the first takbir, you recite Surah Al-Fatiha. All of us have memorized it. Follow up with the second takbir, you perform the salawat upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that what we have been reciting in the Tahir Akhir, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad, kama sallaita ala Ibrahim wa ala Ali Ibrahim, innaka hamidun majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad, kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala Ali Ibrahim, innaka hamidun majid. <clears throat> then the third takbir, you just make dua for the deceased. One if is is a uh, is a single who pass away, and the, the deceased is only there's one. Then you say Allahumma qfillahu warhamhu wa afihi wa fuha anhu until the end. If you can memorize the full dua, at least you say Allahumma qfillahu warhamhu wa afihi wa fuha anhu. Try your best to memorize this. It's not difficult. Yeah. And also, if you are not sure that the deceased is a male or female, then you have another du'a that the Prophet encourage you to recite. That du'a is Allah maqfili hayina wa mayitina wa shahidina wa ghaibina wa saghirina wa kabirina wa zakarina wa unthana. 
at least you say that for Allah forgive the soul of those who are still living among us and those who have passed away among us forgive the soul of those who are absent and those who are present the young and the old the male and the female so this dua cover everybody and then the fourth takbir of course it's not until that then only you can there is a longer dua that you can continue if you manage to memorize it if not you do the minimum and then you follow the fourth takbir and there's a short dua if you can recite Allahumma la tahrimna ajrahu wa la tudillana ba'dahu or you can just repeat again Allahumma gfirlahu warhamhu or Allahumma gfir lahayna wa maytina then you give salam to the right it's sufficient to give salam for the funeral prayer to the right side without giving the left one but if a person want to give left it is still allowed but it is sufficient by offering Assalamualaikum to the right side then you finish your funeral prayer and that's all simple as that so we hope all the brother and sister from today onwards when you heard somebody pass away first thing that you will respond is by saying inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun from Allah we came and to Allah we all return and you make a prayer Allah maghfilahu wa rahamu even when you are not uh, in the prayer yet you can ask Allah to forgive the soul of the deceased and then we hope when we pass away many people will also pray for us and that's the beauty of Islam that you can pray for each other not necessary uh, that you fix the date and not necessarily you only pray for people you know you can pray for each other wherever you are and for every Muslim and can you imagine brother and sister if you die as a Muslim there are billions of Muslims on earth today who are doing prayer every day they will also pray for your soul you have been very blessed yeah? it's a great nikmah from Allah if we die as a Muslim so don't forget you have to make sure that we die as Muslim and don't forget to call other people your friend to Islam so that inshallah they will be blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala their soul will be prayed by billion of Muslims so brother and sister we hope all of us will try our best to do what we must do as a Muslim and may Allah guide us and may Allah forgive us because of our carelessness not responding to the importance of funeral prayer may Allah guide us Amin